Hi everyone, I'm Martijn Olten from AV Flex Logic, and today we're going to show you our patented backlight system on the SAM 3.0. So this is something we developed uh, and patented uh, because of the image recognition of uh, plates, all the new, uh, sometimes can be a bit of a challenge when you have small size micro dots, but also when uh, plates have uh, uh, let's say a microcell structure on top of the plate. Um, so if you have a very nice smooth surface, you get really good reflection. Uh, we have light coming from the top that's reflecting down onto uh, the mounting marks, reflecting straight back up into the camera. You get a really nice image. But what happens if you have, for example, a microcell structure on your plate? What happens then? This is exactly the same plate, and you can see the big difference there. So, um, What's actually happening is that the surface of the plate is a little bit rough uh, to improve the ink transfer, obviously. But what happens with the light that is coming from the top, it is dispersed in all directions and you get not such a good uh, reflection and uh, your image recognition is yeah, really, really poor. Um, so what have we done to overcome this? Because it was quite a bit of a challenge. We invented something. We were actually experimenting a little bit with a few things. We did a lot of research. and if you light the plate from the bottom, you get a much better contrast in these type of cases. So here you can see I change my recipe and suddenly my cross is now recognized very nicely. Looks a little bit darker, but the recognition is here even 95%. So that's the, 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 the rate of recognition. So that's really, really good. Um, how we do it? We have light coming from the top, which it's not on right now. You can turn that on and off. And we have also light in the table, in the mounting table right now. So when I move my camera, you can actually see the LED lights changing position automatically. How cool is that? So basically what we have is now is light coming from below and light coming from the top. And depending on the plate type, and the mounting marks and uh, the conditions, then we can actually set the recipe so that it will optimally recognize the mounting marks, whether it's a micro dot, a cross mark, etc. Um, and we can actually play around with the amount of light, the light intensity uh, here. Uh, but that's also set in the image recognition recipe. Here I can see I have my backlight light intensity for this specific situation is 255, that's almost maximum. But then I go to another recipe, for example, my micro dot for Toyobo plate that I was just showing. Um, then you see I have a light intensity of 120 from the bottom and 220 from the top. So you can really play around with that and uh, make sure that whatever plate you're uh, putting underneath the cameras uh, will be recognized automatically uh, by the system. How do we handle that in the job? In the plates, per specific plate, you can actually set the right recipe. So basically that means that the operator does not have to say, okay, this is my this type of plate, this is this type of uh, mounting mark. Um, without any alterations, it will automatically pick up and set the, the right lighting setting and the right shape, how to, uh, what to recognize. So uh, all in all, we did a lot of development on this uh, and it's really a core feature of the SAM 3.0 and also FAM 3.0. Uh, this has already been in there for, uh, in, in the FAMs for, for almost a year. Um, and yeah, you can really see big, big, big difference. What we do recommend is minimum size of mounting marks is 0.4 millimeters. Uh, it's not because we cannot recognize smaller, but it's because of the stability of the dots. So when you have a 0 0.25 or 0 0.3 uh, millimeter micro dot, for example, you can still recognize it, but over time, plate wear, things might uh, start to chip and break on the, on the dots, and it's also not so, not so stable. So minimum size 0 0.4 recommended. We can recognize smaller, uh, but that would be our recommendation for image recognition and for stable results. So I hope uh, that was an insightful uh, uh, video for you, and don't hesitate to reach out to uh, know more or actually have an online uh, demo or, or a demo in our 
headquarters in the Netherlands, of course. So that was it for today. Thank you so much. See you later.